Hi, welcome to episode 11 of Empathic Action. Today, I will be talking about mental health. Uh, it's gloomy and rainy today in Montreal, and I think today it's a befitting time to talk about um, our personal and collective mental health. I've been doing a little reading over the weekend and learned that um, a local resource, Teled, a support hotline for people in distress is reporting double the number of calls from the public since the COVID pandemic started. And that's unprecedented in its 49 year history. So typically they get about 100 to 140 calls a day, but lately they're getting about 200 calls. They have volunteers um, that get calls sent to them to, to their home line and they're answering the calls in English and French. So as a resource, you can reach Teled at 514-935-1101. And anyone who's watching uh, who may not be in Montreal, feel free to post in the comments um, any uh, resources that you have in your city um, that other people could benefit from. Um, I've also pay been paying a lot of attention to people who are victims of COVID, but not directly due to the actual disease uh, or infection, um, but because they're maybe victims of violence in the home. So another article that came up in the Globe by Gary Mason points out that um, studies have shown a direct correlation between economic instability and reported instances of violence in the home, disproportionately impacting women but also children who witness violence in the home or also um, are victims of violence in the home. China, apparently in February, um, had a threefold increase in domestic violence um, as a result of the pandemic. So, um, and, and, you know, research that was done on Katrina on children in Louisiana found that they suffered severe emotional trauma for years afterwards. Reports suggested that Katrina left rates of post-traumatic stress disorder in children similar to those of veterans returning from war. And his final um, words in, in his article is, we must not allow a public health pandemic to become an abuse pandemic. So I'm really um, struck by the resources that are being made available to people and information. So I'm going to include um, the website. Um, this was printed um, and produced by the Quebec government, sort of signs to look out for um, if you're facing any mental health issues. So physically, you may have some headaches, neck tension, digestive problems, sleep problems, or loss of appetite. Psychological and emotional symptoms include worries, of course, and a sense of insecurity, feeling overwhelmed by events, negative views of things or the daily events, and discouragement, sense, sadness, or anger. And then behavioral symptoms include difficulty concentrating, irritability and aggression, sense of isolation and withdrawal from others, and an increased use of alcohol, drugs, or medication. So I'm going to include here um, uh, a website link that you can check out so you can read more and see if um, there are some resources available to you if you're, if you're feeling um, any of those symptoms or you know somebody in your family or a friend. This is a time for us to come together as a community and help each other out. Um, some people may feel um, a certain degree of resilience through this, so please reach out to others who are feeling um, overwhelmed, anxious, depressed, sad, isolated. Uh, nobody should be going through this alone, and certainly there are um, ways that we can help people who are in circumstances of abuse in the home. If you um, are, are facing that kind of circumstance, um, you know, the health authorities say that, um, you know, even though it's important to be in, in physical isolation, if you're facing any threat or actual violence in the home, it's much better to get out. So scrap the physical isolation and get help. So I'm also going to include some links to local resources. Again, anybody watching uh, from anywhere else outside of Montreal or Quebec, please feel free to add into the comments resources that people could um, tap into from your location. Tomorrow, we're going to have uh, an expert on mental health, someone who lives with bipolar and has uh, is the founder of Stigma Zero, an organization that helps employees 
um, uh, you know, who are uh, living with mental health integrate into their workplaces. He also provides support to organizations to help support employees that um, have mental uh, illnesses. And um, he's going to talk about what's needed at this moment in time, um, both from the employee and the employer perspective. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I wish you all well, and I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, and see you tomorrow.